You got it. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biz most bizarre iteration of Trap you've probably ever seen. Zaf, yep. NACL, JFK, Game 1. Talk to me about the NAS NACL lineup here in green. All right, the boys in green, matching my polo, are <laughs> bringing with them uh, uh, Harugumo. That's a full 420 Blaze It setup. And uh, we've got another good dance. This is a... Uh, Jersey Mike with a buffed adrenaline rush. Z42 with uh, Lutyens, the buffed preventative maintenance. Gearing in your typical COTS build. Uh, Stalingrad with uh, range. We saw a lot of Stalingrads today in EU, by the way, Raptor. Well, interesting. Um, yeah. Brisbane uh, doing the, the... I don't know. Usually we see torpedo yeah, build. Yeah, usually you see a torpedo sort of build Brisbane, but that is not what that is. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Very much not. Very um, not. And then we've got uh, we've got a San Martin doing your typical build, and you've got Schlieffen with the Schlieffening, and finally uh, Montana with the uh, with a Doe or um, Halsey. The Schlieffen does have Lutyens, and I, I'm very curious. I always want to look when I see uh, primary systems in slot one. How did he roll on torpedoes? Not too bad. Two of them are pretty good health, and two of them are mediocre or medium health. i got to say, Zath, so. I love this Montana's name because it makes me think that raindrops are falling on the heads of the opposing team. Well, we did cover rain earlier today, we so did. that could also fit. All right, now JFK has opted for the Tokyo Game Show team camo. No, these are the piñata camos. Oh, those are gaudy, and I love everything about it. Let's go. Let's look at their lineup. Running a yes. no destroyer composition here, Zath, is JFK. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the Southern Element. Mm -hmm. Double Stalingrad Montana. I've got Yorn's Stalin, top grade gunner, mm -hmm. and Ron James's Stalin, not run, not top grade gunner, uh, but range headed to the south. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What is Yorn running? Yorn's running um, uh, reload. So definitely yes. two, two different approaches to Stalin, backed up by Panzer's Montana in uh, very much a heavy survivability build. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Mako's Howden Liu here right on the edge of the A-cap, which is already converted over towards NACL. Mighty Mo picking that up with uh, Legendary upgrade on that Howden Liu. BP Fresh's Des Moines also running Legendary and one of the fancy captains as he works the eastern edge of the B-cap. The northern element here, we've got Double Salem. That's uh, Badmiral here, uh, top grade gunner. Goons Salem, uh, RPF. And Holsch's Des Moines running closer into the cap, also running top grade gunner. Now, I'm a little surprised to see what not see one of the Salem's running closer to the cap because why would you take the eight and a half kilometer radar to the back? But maybe they have a plan. Um, all the mm -hmm. way in the back here, Navy Cadets Poison in a fairly standard uh, secondary type build. But I just love that they've coordinated everybody in that hot pink camo. Worth noting, this is, uh, I think, the Second time total we have seen the Preuss in this tournament put in an eye okay. from last weekend. So not a very common ship to uh, to choose, and we might find out why soon. I got to say, Zaf, I'm, if I am a math teacher and I see two Stalingrads on the opposing team, my butt puckers up just a little bit because uh -huh. few, few things turn Minotaurs and Brisbane's into Swiss cheese faster than those Stalingrad railguns. Oh, absolutely, 100%. And I'm sure math teacher is thinking that exact thing. Uh, so far, they get the ACAP because, well, they're faster. Um, mm. And, you know, with with, uh, with the only destroyers in the game. But so far, Narcomeba hasn't detected anybody yet. I am... And you've got two stones. There we go. I am really confused as to what's happening here, Zath, because... Because JFK has given up a tremendous amount of real estate. These Stalingrads are set up to kite... But there's no way, there's no way NACL is going to push them. Um, no. So unless they turn and push the B cap, the the A cap themselves, nothing's going to change there. And now you're so looking at Fresh's Des Moines. Go ahead. Press the two key. Okay. Take a look at the game from NACL's perspective. They can only see. Yeah, one they can only see one ship. Red. So there is. They uh, saw the Montana. I, yep. And J one Salem so far. That's it. JFK has got that going for him. And with a destroyerless lineup, they, they do have to play a little more cautiously. And I suppose that is absolutely what they're doing here. But I am yep. still somewhat confused, all if I'm if I'm 100% honest. We'll put, turn the mm -hmm. full view back on here. So now you guys have to remember that we do have kind of 
you know, the the God view, right? That the that the teams the don't necessarily eye. have. Correct. Correct. Yep. And um, by the way, it was a question from Chad asking uh, ships that are banned. Neither team can bring a banned ship. It's always fun when a ship a team bans a ship and then brings the same ship and gets disqualified because of it. Pans are playing a little bit of Flame Tana there, dropping a whole bunch mm -hmm. of HE on Raindrop's stern. Fresh is Des Moines reversing into the B cap, holding those points back as the HE farming has commenced on Ron James down at the bottom of the map. But I gotta Speaking say, if, uh, if, if uh, I'm one of these Stalingrads, man, turn mm -hmm. your bow in. I mean, they don't know they don't know who else is up there, but like, man, right. you're gonna have to go get aggressive on these guys. Well. That might very well happen. Take a look at the other side of the map, though. All the way at the top corner, yeah. the complete extreme opposite. You've got two Salem's ready to push into a Schlieffen, who is actually stern on. He took yeah. the time to reverse. I really like this decision. We've seen so many Schlieffens that just go and then die. Well, and I gotta He's say, not doing that. If you're if you're gonna take if you're gonna take a cruiser and you're gonna push a Schlieffen, the Salem is probably not a bad choice because the secondaries. Yep. The Salem can weather the secondaries better than most, I think. Yes. Salem also doesn't have the hydro, right? Neither one of these ships has hydro. No, no that, I apologize. It they does. do. They're you both running choose. hydro. Yes, I see it now. You can choose hydro or radar. So they've and, given yes. up the radar and they're running hydro. I just noticed that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very curious choices. Now they're going to try and punish Comrade Stalin San Martin. Neither one of them running. Okay, okay. Goon's Hydro is up now. They can see these torpedoes coming in. Numb Nuts yeah, is going to take one of them. One, yeah, one right on the bow. Can't be stopped. Goon, I think, is going to take one unless he accelerates. He should. Nope, he's going to take one as well. Yeah, that's a big error right there. Yeah, I feel, like, feel like he needed to get his engine cooking and, and avoid that damage. Good hits on Comrade Stalin, but he is dark now. They do manage to dodge the San Martin torpedoes. Nope, he's not dark now. They've got him locked up, locked up again. Mighty Moe's Z-42 getting hammered in the B-cap. Yep, and down. They get the Z-42. Big first kill going to JFK here. As the giant push along the top of the map is definitely materializes. They're, they've almost got Comrade Stalin off the board. He's going to burn out here in seconds. And there he goes. Yep. Yep, so two really good kills for JFK. Big ones. Now, JFK won uh, top spot on the in the group stage on day one, if I remember right. So that's the reason why they are here and seated. Mm-hmm. Looks like the Stalingrads are just going to just bail. They're just headed out. I'm still shocked to see them playing this passively, knowing exactly that they're up against a Brisbane that they can just mutilate well, in seconds. From JFK's perspective, do you really need to risk two ships at this point in the at, game? At this exact moment, I would say no, you don't. Yeah. You don't. So I'm with you. I, so, I, get, the, I get the logic, but I'm still surprised. Well, it's almost like Yorn was listening to you because take a look at him. He's like, all right, hold my beer. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, let's do it, because math teacher is just barely outside of that radar range. Radar's coming. Math teacher's about to get caught by it. It's all about whether or not Yorn times it correctly. Mm -hmm. There, he's inside the bubble. Math teacher's got a bail. But does he know that, though? He probably doesn't, because he, he hasn't pushed the button yet. Look at all those torpedoes. There's the radar yep. catching Math Teacher at the they extreme edge. Yep, they catch a brief glimpse of him, but they already know he's gone. Now, they've got the Harugamo locked up, but it doesn't matter. Yorn's basically like, you know what? I've taken like half my health and HP, half my health and, and damage. I'm out of here. And that's the reason we haven't seen these two Stalingrads pushing. Yep. Montana Salvo Montana looking Shell. down range on the Harugamo. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Nice. He's Big. not loving the results, though. <laughs> no. Solid hit. 
Now, JFK, have a, look at, have a look at the map. They've got this beautiful line as they now own the majority of the real estate. And I see it now, Zaf. They just don't mm -hmm. care about A. They just don't. Yeah. Right. It's just, that's just not a focus for them. They've gone cruiser and destroyer heavy so they can own the three caps up at the top in the middle of the map. And all they're, all they're worried about down south is making sure that they don't get their back door uh, crunched. Mm -hmm. Math teacher gets dunked I a mean, little bit. Yeah, the the turn in force Yorn to lose half his hit points. Yeah, and Ron James to lose about a half of his hit points. Mm -hmm. And now you've got the Montana that says, "Okay, I'll take over on the firing yeah. line." Let me, I mean, let me literally let all me step doing up here. Is letting them shoot him. Yeah, yeah. And he's gonna take some torpedoes too. Probably. I think he's gonna take at least one of these. Yeah, definitely one of them. If they have the range and they ought, then he's gonna take at least one. It's all damage they didn't need to take if they just kept kiting away. But I no. think they're concerned if they if they keep kiting away at some point, this group can possibly go into the middle of the map. And so that's kind of why I think they're trying not to kite away too much farther from here. Yep. Navy Cadets Poison running for island cover quite low. His next his next heal 45 seconds away. He is still visible somehow. Who? Navy Cadet. The poison? the poison at the top yeah. of the mat. I'm not sure how he's visible, yeah. but he is. The Schlieffen. He's shooting at the okay. Schlieffen. There we go. Rain Raindrops fall on his deck, and he is out. That means that NACL, for the moment, retains the lead, but they're not going to hold it for very long. Pushed off all of this northern real estate. Mm -hmm. We're two minutes from a JFK win here in game one. Yeah. Now, Panzer took another torpedo, it looks like. Yep, he is flooding. And his DCP is down, trying to heal through it. But what I was just talking about is happening. NACL has said, okay, we've pushed him enough back. Now we're going to try to go into the middle of the cap instead of back. But then, hey, radar catches. Yep, they catch uh, Snob with a radar. Snob took a, Snob took a very, very aggressive line there between the edge of the island and, yep. uh, and Panzer's guns. And now Panzer getting his guns flipped back for a shot on this gearing before they lose him. Had, oh my! Had, Stalingrad trying to make something happen too. He had HE Sorry, in the he had AP in the barrel, and he takes away he takes away sixty percent of Snob's HE in one salvo. Mm. Brilliant hit. Both yeah, we just saw a raindrop get another good one on Goon. Salem. Both teams over nine hundred points. Definitely the danger zone. It's taken JFK a while to climb back in this game, but they're forty seconds from a win here. Faster if they can kill the Schlieffen who's on very low HP back here on the three line. Yeah, he's been doing a nice job of kiting away, but his uh, his days are numbered. As Ooh. Gdansk goes down by Han Lu. And four seconds now, and that's the game. Two big kills seal the deal for JFK here in game one. That's right. Let's line up for my death pick. Oof.